Motran, the Midland Odessa Transportation Alliance, hosted its annual meeting today. The main topic of discussion, the newest power plant coming to the basin in decades. The group tells us that over the last three years, residents in the Permian Basin paid over $1 billion in congestion costs associated with the power grid. To relieve electricity concerns for people here, Motran tells us the first power plant in nearly 20 years will be built. We're told that the main appeal of the plant, though, is that it will use natural gas generated as a byproduct from the oil field and will also produce zero emissions. You need reliable power, and that really comes in the form of gas. And we saw that a couple of years back during the winter storm, and we've seen it over the summers with brownies. You really need a reliable source of power that can come online at any moment. That's natural gas. This is one, though, that's using natural gas that's already being produced as a byproduct. So it's not renewable energies that we think of that way, but it's zero emission natural gas that can be online and on demand anytime. It's a, it's a great thing. Now there's already a similar gas-powered plant operating in Laporte, which reports producing around 25 megawatts of electricity. The new plant coming to the basin is proposed by Motran to produce 75 megawatts a day. Bochan predicts that even more of these plants will be coming online very soon. Number one, because of infrastructure that's coming in place with the PUC and ERCOT and the grid, and the fact that we have enormous amounts of, of gas that we are producing. Bochamp also tells us they expect to break ground next year on that plant.